Portugal is renowned for producing great players. Cristiano Ronaldo is just the latest in a long line of exceptional footballers. The first Portuguese footballer who captured the imagination of the football world was Eusebio da Silva Ferreira. Popularly known as Eusebio, the former Portuguese international was celebrated for his speed and his powerful, accurate right-footed strikes. Nicknamed the Black Panther or the Black Pearl, he was elected the ninth best footballer of the 20th century in a poll by the International Federation of Football History and Statistics. He was also named Portugal's best footballer of the past 50 years in 2003. In 1978, Eusebio retired from professional football. In a career that stretched over three decades, he finished with the unbelievable figures of 727 goals from 715 games. Asked to compare his era with today's game, he broke into his trademark beaming grin. When people talk about these changes, it makes me laugh, because in my time it was also tough and there were fast players. I was a quick player, Cruyff was a quick player, and there were other great players. The 66-year-old added, I defend my football from the 60s. Pelé was a quick player. He was not slow and they were all great players. Today, the good ones you count on your fingers. In those days, all over the world, every country used to have a top player. He was not only one, there were plenty. That's why I do not agree with what people say now. We can say that football became more commercial. TV dictates it all. They set the kickoff times because they're paying for it, and we have the big corporations. That's good for the players. In 1968, the great Eusebio was to taste defeat when Manchester United beat his Benfica side in the European Cup final, one of three final losses in six years. But in defeat, he made some friends for life. Many people don't know, but in England, I am a supporter of Manchester United. And why? Because of Bobby Charlton, George Best, Dennis Law, and that team that played against Benfica. A friendship was established, and today we are great friends. Even today, Eusebio continues to be a constant presence around the national team, handing down words of wisdom to the bright stars of Portugal's footballing future. For over 40 years, Eusebio has been the most recognisable face of Portuguese soccer, but he is now more than happy to hand over that baton to Cristiano Ronaldo, who, he says, is on the verge of becoming the best player in the world. Although Luis Figo and his golden generation have led the national side back to the top echelons of international competition, it is the arrival of Ronaldo that has really got Eusebio's pulse racing. Cristiano Ronaldo has nothing to prove to anyone. He has proved his talent by being the top scorer in England. Manchester United won the English League and were European champions. He is in the national team, but people should not think only about him. He is part of a cohesive group in a team where everybody is the same. He is the star, but he knows what it is to be part of the team. The Mozambique-born Portuguese legend went on. Cristiano Ronaldo is just starting his career, but he has all the potential. And I repeat that I think if he does not suffer any injury, he will be chosen by FIFA as the world's best player.